let's go ahead, get into this week's Pac-12 Power Rankings. Look, Things at the top, they're staying the same. We are going to keep it with the Arizona Wildcats atop the Pac-12 power rankings. We know what happened with Arizona last week against Washington State. They rebounded um, and were able to get back on track with a big win over Washington. And like I said, at this point in the season, there's not really anything that can happen unless a massive, massive just three-game fumble for Arizona. So they are going to stay put at number one. Washington State at two. I thought about moving them down because of the loss to Arizona State. But you can't can't deny them after that win over Arizona. I do think Washington State is going to be a team that gives um, Arizona maybe some problems when we head to the conference tournament, but we will see. I like what Washington State is as a team, and I do think they belong in the AP Top 25. I've got Colorado. They move up 2-3. Colorado's been an interesting team to follow this season, but Colorado, as of late, I mean, you just got to hand it to them. They, they beat Utah by 24 points, and they beat USC. Like, you're able to get it done um, after losses to UCLA, which was one of the hottest teams in the conference, uh, and then, of course, a loss to Arizona. So Colorado finding a way to get back on track. At number four, I've got Oregon. Oregon finds a way to get back into that conversation. UCLA, they do fall a little bit. I've got the Bruins sitting at number five. Now, UCLA... They were one of the hottest teams in this conference. But you look as of late, the Bruins have lost now um, two in a row. And they're still 9-7 and in conference. They are fighting for a top four seed in the Pac-12 tournament. But those two losses, I've got them dropping to five. Cal. Cal is up to number six. They've moved up. They are on a three-game win streak. And believe it or not, Cal's only three and a half games back from being first in the conference. Now, there isn't enough games in the regular season for that to happen, but certainly enough time for Cal to sneak and get a uh, top four seed in the Pac-12 tournament, which would be mind-blowing to me if Cal is able to do that. Utah at seven, Washington at eight. We know the week that they had. Um, Washington's not a good basketball team, guys. I'm here to tell you that. But Arizona State isn't that great either. That's why I got the Sun Devils at number nine. But hey, that win over Washington State was huge. Exactly what this team needed ahead of the final three games of the regular season, Arizona, USC, and UCLA. Love what I saw from Frankie Collins, Jose Perez, and even Alonzo Gaffney. If they can keep that moving forward and stay competitive against Arizona on Wednesday and take care of the LA schools, then I would feel a lot better about their chances when we hit to Vegas. But we're still a ways away from actually talking ourselves into believing that this team can win the conference tournament. Stanford at 10, Oregon State at 11, and USC at 12. I know there's people that say, hey, Oregon State and USC could probably go back and forth between those two teams. Look, USC is 5-11 uh, in Pac-12 play. Oregon State is 4-13. and Both of the, those teams are absolutely putrid on the road. They're combined 3-16 and away from home. Um, they are not very good basketball teams, so say what you want about them, but I have them. Oregon State at 11, and then, of course, the USC Trojans at 12. Guys, that is going to do it for this week's Pac-12 Power Rankings Head to the comments. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button. 